a call hello you me how about hashem how was shy by hashem rakako dash double honesty apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well over the flock and shalom and salutations to brothers out here that's pushing the words of truth and sincerity i just wanted to point something out in this uh interview with jason whitlock and bishop nathaniel of iuic um a good reference point is look at his face in this picture right here i'm not talking about nate i'm talking about um jason whitlock you know real relaxed friendly looking but i'm no you know in about five seconds five to 20 seconds of this clip where he's asking nate some questions and uh nate going into basically how he realized that the color the color was in the bible and how the men of the lord it seemed to be black based on or dark skin based on the scriptures something that we've never been taught in christianity and this man's disposition is so rough and austere and basically you could tell it's a psyop man once again the psyop is to have people seem like they down or seem like they interested just to make us look like fools in the end you know now this ain't about nate uh the bishop nader anything like that this is mainly about the whitlock jason whitlock guy i want y'all to just check out this man's disposition the scriptures tell you that um you could tell a lot by a man's gait, you know and um you know spiritual eyes you can pick up on uh this man's disposition now he had been going for hard for con uh Kyrie. he was going hard but now you can see the time the tides is changing and they must have put some type of pressure on him. He is not allowed to be 100 percent convicted or convinced or even a convert with his position being on air. They will cancel whatever contract he has with these damn devils. They will cancel it. But let's uh, point this out. I want to show you all what I'm talking about. Watch his disposition the whole time. Bishop Nate speaking. And as I grew, <laughs> I went into the committed community. Just look at his face, man. First, look at this man's face, man. Look. And watch watch as the clip continue. I mean, he got a serious, just smug, uh, proud look. Watch. From the comedic. <laughs> now you ask a man a question and then they start making these type of faces, man. You can't you can't make this up, man. Because he knows that it's all predictive programming. He wants the average listener to make these same expressions. But listen to what uh, what Bishop Nate is talking about. He's talking about the color of the Lord and how that changed his opinion and his mind coming in, you know, being a Christian, walking down the streets of New York. You hear about the color of the Lord for the first time and it changes you. But this man seems has little to no excitement about the whole idea of him being part of the Lord's people. That's a psyop, man. Watch this. I went to the nation of Islam. Uh, and by 1990 is when another friend of mine named Black, we called him Black as a nickname, he gave me a flyer. On this flyer, it had scriptures like Job 3030, where the prophet Job said, my skin is black upon me and my bones burned with heat. Lamentations 4.8, Lamentations 5.10. Jeremiah 14 2, Judah mourneth, the gates thereof languish, they are black unto the ground, and the uh, cry of Jerusalem has gone on. And I was like, wait a minute. It sounds like the people in the Bible are black. He showed me Moses, Exodus 2, where he passed for an Egyptian, Joseph and. Come on, man. Look at this dual face. <laughs> All right, look at his face, Genesis, man. Passed for an Egyptian. You can't act like you knew all this already because you wouldn't be making them faces. You would have been like, ah, yes, I've heard that before. So if you've never heard this before and all of a sudden the scriptures is coming out left to right, more scriptures than you had in uh, 60 years of church is coming out in five minutes. That's the disposition you make, man. That's the these are the faces you make learning about your people being connected to the Lord's people. This is hypocrisy, man, in its, its highest form. That's why I believe it's all psyop business, man. He was privy and understood what exactly Nate is 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 dealing with and is all about and what the Israelites are all about. And to make these damn faces. And we got people in our family who would do the same thing. They watch your videos. They watch our videos. They know our accounts. Right? They're privy to that. But they'll talk to you as if they don't know nothing. You know, they'll act as if, what's that thing you win, man? I had a boss that did the same thing to me. You know, word got back that I was doing um, 
pushing this word uh, not too far from where I worked. Uh, Eden my chick had an issue with it. She went back to the boss and the boss came to me all uh, like questioning concern. Like, who are those guys at the corner? Like he had as if he had no idea. You know what I'm saying? This is the this is that f hypocrisy, this hypocritical way that Jake deal when you under contract. So when, you know, you're too scared or when your pride is on the line, you know, that you could all your life go without understanding the scripture. The scripture tell you how we got to this point in time. And you're not supposed to know what this is about. You're supposed to be handed for this first time and it's supposed to break you up. The scripture said like a two edged sword and dividing asunder, cutting asunder the hearts of men. Right. It tells you that it tells you, um, uh, uh, uh lift up the, the voice like a trumpet and spare not, you know, spare not pitting to do not pity them. Right. It tells you how this, this scriptures was divide, you know, and, and, and separate, uh, uh, men's egos. It cuts into the ego. It cuts into the, uh, pride of you. And it'll break you up. You think you tough it in the scriptures until it actually cuts that deep, cuts those demon, demonic spirits about you and weans it out of you. And that's why so many people, you know, that we got to deal amongst the flock. We have to deal with the weak and, and the weak a certain type of way because the scriptures is heavy and they might not be able to digest. They're not going to be able to digest the meat. You can't give a newborn baby meat. All right. Milk is for the babes and. Right. The scriptures tell you that the scriptures that is sweet in your mouth, but bitter in your stomach. We know that once you digest this truth, you 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 ain't going to be all proud and whatnot. You know what's going to happen is it's going to hurt you. Cognitive dissonance is going to take place. You're going to feel all awkward and out of place. And that's not the look of somebody who really digesting the words for the first time. This is the look of somebody who's been prepped on how to deal with Hebrew Israelites. Maybe, you know, just, you know, don't don't look too interested and don't you know what I'm saying? But ain't nobody, ain't no Jake in their right mind understanding the propaganda machine, which was Christianity and how we how they fed, uh, forced forced us to eat that. You know, with Caesar Borgia, so-called white Jesus images all on all in the churches, all in our mother's houses and grandmother's houses and they wallets and they bathrooms. And you're going to co contemplate uh, all of these things that happen to us only to come up with a, you know, expression like that at hearing that our people is starting to turn back to who we really are. And that's the best expression you can make, man. You see? Yeah, yeah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it's the first time. I believe he's been prepped on that. And because of influence, because of psyops, which is an influencing of people, they know that so many people is going to tune into this interview. If Nate's going to have some exposure by ESPN or whoever, they're going to get exposure anyway. These athletes are going to start to take notice. They're going to have to speak on it. At least let's bring them on. But when we bring them on, make sure that you making these faces and, and acting all weird and, 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 and pressed up. Man, ain't no way, man. Ain't no, ain't no way, man. You can hear that the Lord is black, so-called black man, and see it in the scriptures and have and understand it, and then still have that face. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And the scripture says, unless they're being the fallen away first, we fell away, man. And now the now those dry bones in Ezekiel thirty-seven are starting to live once they become prophesied to. You mad? You mad at that, Whitlock? What part of the scriptures you really mad at, man? That we with that the Lord has risen up uh real men of the Lord and prophets to prophesy that aren't prophesying smooth things. Shout out to the apostles of Great Millstone. On to the men on down. This is not a face of a uh, of a of a man that's for the first time hearing this truth. We done been in the streets thousands of times, man. We in the, we know what 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 usually a man will will look like as he digests this. We're hearing that the Israelites and the Lord's people were black for the first time. He don't look like that. Let's continue. And I knew the ancient Egyptians were black people. I knew that. Uh, Acts, the book of Acts, I believe it's 21, 37. The apostle Paul was mistaken for an Egyptian. That was mind blowing to me. I was like, wait a minute, stop. I was never shown this in church. I, what is, again, this was back in 1990. Then he showed me Revelation 1. Look at this man now, man. Arms all crossed. You got to be able to read that man's uh, uh, demeanor. 
Who takes a demeanor like that at recognizing the same things uh, we all recognize all at the same time? Because this is a, a awakening period of Israel. This is a rising up period of Israel and you're not going to stop it. You're not going to be able to stop it. They're not going to be able to stop it. The money can't stop the prophecies, man. So you're, you're trying to, you know, the man with the coins and the purses and the shekels cannot stop prophecy. The scripture tells you that, uh, you know, that my word, go, what goes out of my mouth, my word shall not return unto me void. Meaning there's no emptiness in the Lord's uh, uh, words and his prophecies that he gave his prophets to prophesy of, of the end times and destruction and, 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 and destruction of America by way of thermonuclear fire. There's no stopping that with your coin and purse. Right. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath. We know that. We know uh, the parable of uh, uh, the parable of Lazarus and the rich man. Right. We know that the rich man ends up uh, being trading places with Lazarus. You know, the scripture says they they in James, the fifth chapter about that, they 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 it's cankered and, and moth eaten. Right. Their riches and their their coin and their money, their gold is is corrupted. The scriptures in Job 20, it tells you he has swallowed down riches and he shall vomit it up. Jeremiah uh, uh, 60 is telling you, you know, telling 60 and 61, telling you the forces of the, we shall inherit, inherit the forces of the Gentiles, the riches, the wealth of the Gentiles. We're going to get all everything that they have, man. The most eyes, he doesn't care how much money a man has produced in prints. And established on this earth. This is his earth. He created it. Along with the heavens and the stars. Along with the people. And he giveth it to whomsoever he will. And so for a man to just sit there. And make a face and expression about. Towards your people. Who are rising up man. Crossing your arms and feeling on man. What is your problem man. Change your. Change your pad B. You know, hey, so, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. I brought this out as a fine, quick, straight to the point. <laughs> Till next time, Shalom. And Bishop Nate, man, in the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashmi, I was shot. All right? Cut the, cut the bull. Cut the BS, man. All of y'all in the IURC. Cut the crap, man. Shalom.